And our family in Gaza have said that we feel as if the Quran is being revealed upon us at this very hour. We feel as if Allah Jalla Jalaluhu is speaking to us today. We feel as if we are reciting the verses of the Quran for the first time in our lives. And that is what we go to when we are sad. And that is why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would say in his dua, dua al huzn the, the dua of grief, part of what he would say is, أَن تَجْعَلَ الْقُرْآنَ رَبِيعَ قَلْبِ I ask you, O oh Allah, that you make the Qur'an the spring of my heart. وَنُورَ صَدْرِي And the light of my chest. وَجَلَاءَ حُزْنِي And the departure of my sorrow. وَذَهَابَ غَمِّي And the release from my grief. The Qur'an, O oh Allah, make the Qur'an that thing that releases me from my pain. So let us ask the question, is the Qur'an present? I say the Qur'an is active today in Gaza. The Qur'an is commenting on the events of Gaza. The Qur'an is contextualizing and encouraging, persuading and raising morale. And the Qur'an is threatening and warning and promising. And the Qur'an is reassuring and affirming and correcting and guiding and advising. The Qur'an is speaking to us at this very hour in Gaza and elsewhere. You will say to me, how? Let me explain. You will ask the question, how do they see us? Are we deserving of this barbarity? How do they see us? How do they view us? The Quran answers and it says, That is because they said there is no sin. There's no blame upon us with respect to what we do to the Gentiles. That's how they see us. So long before Yaov Gallant, the defense minister of Israel said that we are dealing with inhuman animals and we're going to treat them accordingly no water no food no electricity you remember those words why are you shocked the quran told you about that many years ago you will ask the question so how should we see ourselves that's how they see it this is how they see us how should i view myself the quran answers it says wala tahinu wala tahzanu wa antum al-a'launa in kuntum mu'minin don't feel weak don't be saddened whilst you are the superior ones if you are believers. And the Quran answers, وَلِلَّهِ الْعَزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ All pride and dignity belongs to Allah, His Messenger and the believers. The Quran answers, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ خَيْرُ الْمَرِيَّةِ Those who believe they have iman and they do good deeds, they are the finest of all creation, Allah said. That's the answer from the Quran. You will ask the question, they have besieged us. They've come by way of sea and by land. The Americans have sent an aircraft carrier from every one of the corners of Gaza. There is a member of the IDF. Has any other community experienced something like this? The Quran answers. When they came from above you, and they came from beneath you. And your eyes grew wild. And your hearts reached your throats in fear. And some Muslims began to harbor doubt about Allah Almighty. Hunalik at that hour. Ubtuli al Mu'minun, the believers were tested. And they were shaken, a mighty shaking. The people of Gaza are being shaken, a mighty shaking. You will say, How should we react when we see these confederates, these alliances? How should we react? It's terrifying. The Quran answers. وَلَمَّا رَأَى الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الْأَحْزَابِ When the believers saw the alliances, قالوا, they said, هَذَا مَا وَعَدَنَا اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ This is what Allah and His Messenger promised us. The Mufassirun, they say, Allah and His Messenger have promised us difficulty in the life of this world. Allah Almighty has promised us that you can't enter Jannah without being tested with your Iman. So when they saw the alliances, they said, this is what Allah and His Messenger promised us. وَصَدَقَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ And Allah and His Messenger spoke the truth. وَمَا زَادَهُمْ إِلَّا إِيمَانًا وَتَسْلِيمًا And that alliance only increased the believers in Iman and submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will say, but the pain is enormous. You will say, I have seen scenes that have kept me awake at night. I have seen more gore and blood and torn apart children and women than I have seen all my life. The pain is so much. Are we the only ones suffering in this? The Quran answers. وَلَا تَهِنُوا فِي بِتِغَاءِ الْقَوْمِ إِن تَكُونُوا تَأْلَمُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَأْلَمُونَ If you are suffering, then they are suffering as well. If you are in pain, then know that they are going through pain as well. The difference, وَتَرْجُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَرْجُونَ But you have hopes in things that they don't hope for. You hope for Jannah, you hope for the forgiveness of Allah, you hope to be established on the land, you hope to be pleased, Allah to be pleased with you. They don't hope in any of these things. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا And Allah is knowing and wise. 
See how the Quran is active, the Quran is present, the Quran is involved. But who will recite the Book of Allah with tadabbur contemplation? And who will find, make his or her comfort the Book of Allah Almighty during this time? You will say, but what can I do in all of this? The Quran answers, in tansurullah yansurkum. If you give victory to Allah, if you support his religion, Allah Almighty will support you. You will say, what can I do? وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ ادْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Your Lord said, call upon me and I will answer your dua. What can I do? The Quran answers, أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُطَرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ What about he who answers the grief struck when he calls upon him? وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ And he removes difficulty. وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ And he makes you inheritors on the land. أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ Is there a God who does this other than Allah? You ask the question, how do I make sense of this mess? Are there wisdoms behind what is happening and the prolonging of the suffering? The Qur'an answers, yes, plenty wisdoms, at least five. The Qur'an says, count with me. وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ The days are rounds that we alternate between people. وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So that Allah may make evident the true believers. وَيَتَّخِذَ مِنْكُمْ شُهَدَاءَ And so that He may choose from you martyrs. وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ And Allah does not like the wrongdoing people. وَلِيُمَحِّصَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And so that Allah may purify the ranks of the believers. Clean it from the hypocrites. وَيَمْحَقَ الْكَافِرِينَ And so that He may take away the unbelieving people. أَمْ حَسِبْتُمْ أَنْ تَدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةِ Did you think that you were going to enter Jannah? وَلَمَّا يَعْلَمِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا مِنْكُمْ وَيَعْلَمَ الصَّابِرِينَ Before Allah was to make clear who are the patient amongst you and who are those who are striving in his path. There is wisdom in what is happening. But then you will ask the question, I'm on the verge of despairing. I feel like I want to give up. And I'm ashamed, some of you will say, of saying this, whilst our Palestinian brothers and sisters who are on the receiving end of all of this have not given up, but I feel like despairing, you will say here in the comfort of my own home. Has the Qur'an addressed this? Yes, it has. The Qur'an answers. And it said, حَتَّى إِذَا اسْتَيْأَسَ الرُّسُلُ When the calamity became so severe that even the messengers were on the verge of despairing. وَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ قَدْ كُذِبُوا And the followers of the messengers thought that they had been told a lie. جَاءَهُمْ نَصُرُونَ That is when the victory of Allah came. During that dark hour when you couldn't see any light at the end of the tunnel, Allah said, that's when the victory of Allah arrived. فَنُجِّيَ مَنْ نَشَاءَ And we saved whoever we willed. وَلَا يُرَدُّ بَأْسُنَا عَنِ الْقَوْمِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ And our punishment is never averted from the evil people. Finally, you will ask the question, where is the victory of Allah? Is it not that the Imams are saying, Oh Allah, give us the victory that you have promised. Oh Allah, nasruk al-ladhi, Allahumma nasruk al-ladhi wa'ad. Give us the victory that you have promised. Where is the victory of Allah? The Quran answers, Ala inna nasr Allah qareeb. The victory of Allah is always near. The victory of Allah is always near. Is always near. Meaning that the victory of Allah does not move. The victory of Allah is static. It's stationed in one place. It's hanging low, waiting for the Muslims to pick it up when they want to. Here is the victory of Allah. There. Can you see it? It's there. And we are here. Through the decisions that we make as Muslims, our public and private behavior, our businesses, our transactions, our DMing, our TikToking, and the rest of it, through our behavior, our salah, our hijab, our relationship with our families, we move closer to the victory of Allah, or we move further away from the victory of Allah, but the victory of Allah does not move. Where is it? Allah said, Qareeb, it's near. So we choose how long we want to make the suffering of the Ummah prolong, or how soon are we want to? summarize this process through the decisions that we make. Do you see how the Quran speaks to us, how it interacts with us? Make this a new page in your relationship with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.